Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to do a really important topic, the structure of mutual fund. My name is Ramandeep Singh and let's just start the topic. So before starting, let me tell you that we have started the NISM 5A test series. In this test series, we are going to get 10 full length uh, mock test along with the proper explanation to all the questions uh, and answers and then notes we are providing. And if you need that proper course, just go to learn.bankexamstudy.com or install the Bank Exam Today mobile application. All the links are available in the description. So let's just start. What is the legal structure of mutual fund? This is the basically the legal structure of mutual fund. There is a uh, it's a two tier structure, right? There are sponsors. Uh, there is a sponsor. Then there is a trustee, asset management company, custodian and the RTA, register, uh, registrar and transfer agents. Uh, sponsor, they actually starts the, you know, mutual fund. So first, first and the most important question in this chapter, uh, the mutual funds are a trust. A mutual fund is a trust. Mutual funds are trust, okay, and they are governed under Indian Trust Act 1882. This is itself a really important uh, question. Mutual fund is a trust and it is governed by Indian Trust Act 1882. And it is created by who creates a mutual fund by sponsors. A sponsor creates the mutual fund, right? And who's the beneficiary? The investors are the beneficiaries, okay? The invest investors who invest the money in the mutual fund, people like you and me, we are the beneficiary of this trust. Okay. And the operation of mutual funds are governed by the trust deed. Okay. There will be a trust deed between the sponsor and the trustee. There will be a trust deed between sponsors and the trustees. Right. And the operation of the mutual fund, it will be governed by this particular trust deed. Right. Uh, similarly, as in case of partnership, there is partnership deed. In, the, in case of trust, there is trust deed. All the terms and conditions, they are mentioned on the trust deed. The trust acts through its trustees, right? And they are working, they are protecting. What is the role of uh, the trust? To protect the interest of beneficiary. Who is the beneficiary? Investors. And the day-to-day -day management is done by whom? Asset management company. Okay, for example, uh, SBI mutual fund. SBI mutual fund. Uh, this is the asset management company hdfc mutual fund mirai asset mutual fund excess mutual fund uh, blackrock is a mutual uh, asset management company these are all asset management company uh, you might be aware of a lot more uh, dhfl is there i think uh, excess is there uh, then kotak is there kotak mutual fund is there these companies they what they do they manages the people's money they manages the scheme and they market the schemes as well Whatever the advertisements you are watching on television uh, regarding the HDFC small cap or Reliance small cap online or offline, uh, these advertisements are given by these asset management companies. And these asset management companies they manages uh, they manage the uh, the the money of uh, the investors, right? <clears throat> so uh, the structure. This is the basic structure. I hope now the picture is little clear to you. Two tier structure is there. There is sponsor who starts the mutual fund. Okay. Then there is a trustee. There will be a trust deed between the trustee and the sponsor according to which the trustee is going to work that the board of trustee is going to work. And then that board of trustee, they hire the asset management. They appoint the asset management company. They appoint the custodian and they appoint the registrar and the transfer agent. And what they do, uh, that's what we are going to do uh, discuss in the these slides. Sponsors, uh, sponsors are basically promoter of the company or the person who either itself or in association with another corporate establish a mutual fund so sponsor it can uh, it can be a uh, it can be a promoter of a company or it can be a association uh, who establish who starts a mutual fund okay not everyone can start a mutual fund sebi checks whether the person's integrity whether he has enough experience in the financial sector once the SEBI is convinced, the, the sponsor creates a public trust. Okay. Once the SEBI is convinced, then the sponsor, he can create a public trust. So that is what a sponsor is. So he is basically the promoter of the company who starts the mutual fund. Right. So who starts a mutual fund? Start a mutual fund. This is the word. Okay. Uh, what is a sponsor? This is a uh, company or a, you know, promoter of the company who starts a mutual fund. It can be a body of, uh, you know, association of people. It can be a company, right? Uh, and then the trustee. So a mutual fund in India, it is a trust. Okay. Uh, it is a trust and it is, uh, this question is really important. It is a trust and it is governed by 
इंडियन ट्रस्ट एक्ट 1882 रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज गवर्न अंडर इंडियन ट्रस्ट एक्ट 1882 ओके एंड दे वर्क इन द फेवर ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्टर्स आर द बेनिफिशियरी ऑफ दिस ट्रस्टी एंड देर विल बी अ डीड देर विल बी अ ट्रस्ट डीड बिटवीन द ट्रस्टी एंड द स्पॉन्सर राइट एंड दे मे बी दे आर एक्चुअली द इंटरनल रेगुलेटर ऑफ द म्यूचुअल फंड दिस लाइन इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट वट इज द रोल ऑफ ट्रस्टी दे आर इंटरनल रेगुलेटर ऑफ द ऑफ द म्यूचुअल फंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट फंक्शन दे आर इंटरनल रेगुलेटर एंड द सेकेंड फंक्शन इज द ट्रस्ट इज अपॉइंट ऑल द की पर्सोनल लाइक फंड मैनेजर ऑडिटर्स कस्टोडियन रजिस्ट्रार कंप्लाइंस ऑफिसर Uh, and they inform the sebi about the same right so this is our second function first function is they are the internal regulator and the second function is they appoint all the important key personnel like fund manager auditor custodian registrar compliance officer etc right so these are the two functions of the trustees and what is the asset management company uh their function is to market the scheme their function is to manage the people's money investors money so first of all the trustees they appoint the amcs to manage the investors money right so that's really through an agreement called the investment management agreement so there is an agreement there is an agreement between the sponsor and the trustee this is known as the uh, the trustee deed right uh, trust deed actually uh, between trustees and sponsor that is called trust deed and between trustees and asset management company that is called investment management agreement very important do, do not confuse this thing investment management agreement is done between trustee and the asset management company okay and the amc structures various schemes launches the schemes see the amc they manage the people's money they market the schemes they makes the scheme and they launches the schemes launch the schemes and <clears throat> they mobilize the initial amount manages the funds give the services to the investors right <clears throat> and the mutual fund pays a small fee to the amc for the management of the fund right there is an expense ratio of normally it's around 1% one one uh, there is a proper circular of rv that that's what i'm going to discuss in the next lecture right so really important asset management company it's like hdfc uh, you know a mutual fund uh, sbi mutual fund what they do they manage the people's money and uh, then they market it they launch the various schemes and they market it and they provide the various services to the investors so that's what an amc is that's what the uh, purpose of AM amc is the basic purpose is to manage the people's money and launch the schemes okay custodian so uh, who holds the all the stocks and all right who holds the stocks and i mean whatever the investments is made in the mutual fund who uh, who take care of that uh, those uh, holdings right so in mutual fund the asset management company buys different securities in forms of shares bonds gold etc in different schemes so these schemes these securities are bought in the name of trust so that's really important right so this is important all the securities bought by the asset management company it's in the name of the trust it is not in the name of the amc it is in the name of the trust but they are not kept with the trust so trust uh, i mean at the end of the day we are not having a blind trust on the trust right so it is not kept with the trust the responsibility of safe keeping the securities is on the custodian okay the amc is buying the securities amc is buying okay uh the on the name of trust okay on the name of trust uh, but the custodian he is holding he is holding these securities he is holding these securities in case there is a right <coughs> issue there is a bonus issue he will take care of it take care of it the custodian he is going to keep track of various corporate actions like bonus issues right issues and stock split buyback offers open offers and the custodian is going to take uh, actions according to the instructions of investment manager <clears throat> okay or the fund manager fund manager is the right word according to the instructions of fund manager the custodian is going to take the actions if the fund manager says <clears throat> yes uh, please work on this uh, uh, if if a company is uh, 
making a buyback offer for example wipro just made a buyback offer the current price of wipro share is i think 237 and wipro made a offer of 280 rupees and if the fund manager says yes uh, we want to use this opportunity sell the shares give the shares back to the company the custodian custodian is going to use this offer okay the rta at the end of the day who's going to maintain the accounts the asset management company is not going to maintain the account the trust or the custodian they are not going to make uh, maintain the account right now in india there are two companies the carvi and the cams these are the two uh, registrar and transfer agents right they maintain the accounts they maintain the accounts that's what their their job is they made the accounts that how much what is the holding of uh, mutual fund holding of this particular investor uh i mean in this pan let's say f fac uh, fap in this particular pan this is the holding that's what their job is so mutual fund investors are spread across the country and it is not possible <clears throat> to provide these for uh, particular services by the amc amc they can't do this so that's the purpose of registrar and the transfer agent what their job is they maintain the investors record that is the first purpose okay how many units the investors they get at what price what is the applicable nav and how much money they will get in case of redemption any exit load of etc everything is taken care by the rta registrar and the transfer agents uh carvi and cam these are the two rtas right <clears throat> and uh, let me give you an example of uh sbi mutual fund the trust is sbi mutual fund right the trust the name of the trust is sbi mutual fund and the sponsor was state bank of india and the trustee <clears throat> and the trustee is sbi mutual fund trustee company private limited okay amc is SBI Funds Management Private Limited. This is the AMC custodian. There are three custodians: HDFC Bank Limited, SBI SG Global Securities Private Limited, Bank of Nova Scotia, and the RTA is CAMS. Okay, Computer Age Management Services Private Limited. So, students, that's all for today. Uh, thank you and have a very nice day. Bye.